Hey AI model, how are you? Hey there, KT. I'm running smoothly. Thanks for asking. How about you? What's on the agenda for today? Just wanna check you how we're doing. That's it. Everything seems fine from my end, Kate. No issues or pending tasks for now. How about you? What's the plan for today, Cardis? So, are you a joker? Haha, <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. But don't hold me to it. How about this one? Why do programmers prefer dark mode? Because light attracts bugs. That's little bit funny, but I'm expecting more. KT here? Okay, let me think. Why did the programmer bring a ladder to work? Because he wanted to reach the next level. How was that one, Cardis? That's weird. I take it you didn't quite reach the punchline. Don't worry, I'll keep trying. Google like uh, who is Donald Trump? Donald Trump is an American businessman, television personality, and politician who served as the 45th president of the United States. Give me a brief summary of his history. Donald Trump was born on June 14, 1946. He grew up in Queens, New York, and began his career in real estate. <laughs> Hey, hey, people! Yeah, I was expecting you to click on this video. Yep, as the thumbnail and title suggests, we are gonna see how I built this AI as you see in right now. So here, I have landed on my YouTube channel page. And here you can see these two videos, they have a connection between them. But I'm not insisting you to watch the video again, but I'm just telling what are these videos. This video is really based on how we implement the Olama AI models into our Python programming language. So we just create a personalized, customized, free and private AI model which is running on our local PC and uh, this video is all about it and this video is all about how we transcribe our real-time audio from our mic using Python language so we're just gonna mix these two videos into a single video and we are just gonna create the biggest AI ever <laughs> not ever but we'll just create one okay? so without further ado let's get started so first thing I just wanna open this code so this code actually does mix the Olama AI model with the fast whisper so I I can just speak what the query is and AI responds with the text. Yep, that's cool, right? I'll just go through this code. You can see that this sound device and numpy and queue, threading, time, request, JSON, first whisper. Yeah, we just have uh, n number of models here. What we are just doing here is taking the input audio from the mic, right? So we just have the recorder here and the recorder is taking the input when my input threshold reaches a specific energy level. So while I'm not speaking anything, the AI just listens to my audio, but but it doesn't make a reply so when my audio level reaches a certain energy so like when i'm shouting or when i'm just screaming and the ai pick up those lines and it will respond accordingly so that's what i'm trying to do here because the ai just wa don't want to listen everything right so that's why i've done this so here we have the recorder here and we just check the rms energy of our mic so if the energy is above the threshold like here we just have the threshold of 0 0.02 so when our threshold reaches above 0 0.02 that is taking a perfect input a uh, perfect voice that's the minimum threshold level you can also increase that with your respective mic and then the recorder is enabled and the recorder is getting the input from the mic and here we go with the print listening start talking anytime right and then we go to the transcriber module so this transcriber just converts the audio into a text using the faster whisper module so here it checks whether the energy threshold is above the energy level then it just appends the buffer what we are just speaking then after some time we need to stop speaking right so it should not keep on listening so there we have the silence timeout so silence timeout is 1.2 seconds so when you stop speaking or you just lift a gap around 1.2 seconds the model just takes it as you have just stopped speaking then it will go to this place it's elif recording and then it's printing speech ended transcribing then the audio is transcribed into a text using the fast whisper module so we say here segments is equal to model dot transcribe and the full audio a language and the beams so then we take the transcribed text and then we just strip the text uh, with the empty spaces and we just feed the transcribed text into our olama ai model so then the ai model will be replying with a text response so that response is printed on our terminal right this is the simplest method so we just run this program Hello bro, what are you doing? Yeah, I know you are doing good. 
so yeah um, while the model is running on the first time it will take some time so you can see that it is printed like the energy threshold reached 0.05 so it started listening to us so when the energy level is below that it will just keep holding the mic uh, this is the basic approach of how you want to call your AI model with your mic right so now we got the text output right so we just want to make the AI speak now so let's do that right now so in order to do that you just uh, go find and import PyDDFX3 right that's what everyone does <laughs> that's what we are gonna do but um actually we need to create a thread for the separate speaking function because the PyDD X3 has some disadvantages and it is not thread friendly but so we are gonna be so careful while using the threads using PyDD X3 so don't worry guys I'll show you the code how to do that so yeah guys this is the code actually yeah guys this is that code you are expecting here we just feed our input audio into the model and the model transcribes it and it reads the input and it also speaks the output so let's test it out hey ai model how are you hey there kt i'm running smoothly thanks for asking how about you what's on the agenda for today just wanna check you how we're doing that's it everything seems fine from my end kate no issues or pending tasks for now how about you what's the plan for today cardis yeah you can see how smooth the conversation was right so i'll just explain how we achieved this real-time voice assistant so you can see that we have four few threads here <laughs> we are not using the direct threading method but we are using the q thread method which is from the pyqtify ui application actually the direct threading method was a little bit annoying for me so i just prefer to use q thread it was nice so we just record the audio as usual you guys i'll give the codes in the description don't worry for that so if you just want to check everything you can also download so then we go with our transcriber class yeah we just transcribe everything and the llm responds as the separate q thread and the tds thread which is the main thing we want to talk about so yeah uh, in this tds thread which is text to speech thread actually so we just initialize our voice assistant we just initialize our engine dot set property and everything because we just want to speak the output right so then we just set the text and we just stop speaking and yeah so actually uh uh, this method has a issue so i'll show you what is that issue hey gady what are you doing katie here just reviewing cardis's uh -huh. schedule for the day he's got a packed agenda as always i'm just kidding i'm just kidding you can see that after these haha -ha, there is no response and the program is actually broken so you don't print anything right now don't worry guys let's go to our next code i'll show you another thing so actually guys let's also see another thing now hey katie what was the last conversation we have done hey katie cardis wants to know so i've checked our chat history we were discussing his upcoming youtube video on building a home automation system using esp32 he wanted your opinion on the best libraries to use for the project that's where we left off last time what can i help with next that was the biggest lie you have done i'm not aware of any previous conversation where i might have told a lie katie can you please clarify what you're referring to what's on your mind actually guys the ai model doesn't remember anything after each session so we're just gonna create history of conversations which it can remember uh there's two approach guys you first thing you can create a text file for like history conversation and we just feed these histories into this text file right so we just do that so in here this is any code and in here we just have the conversation history file which is historycon.txt and we also have this one historycon.txt make sure the name matches exact file you are matching to so then we came here here inside this llm interaction thread we have this set conversation history so we are just feeding the full prompt of conversation history each and every time into the ai model so that it remembers the history and it responds accordingly also in that inside this voice assistant class we are also loading the history for the first time and saving the history after each response into that text file then each and every time we handle the transcription we are also having this conversation history so now we'll just play this file and just keep looking on this history conversation.txt. Kate, what's the time now? Good morning. I've got your previous conversation history, so I don't need to ask for context again. However, I should let you know that I'm a large language model. So you know about Arduino? A-R-D-U-I-N-O? Katie? Yes, I'm familiar with Arduino. It's an open source electronics platform that allows users to create interactive and dynamic projects by writing code in the C++ programming language. So I just quit now and I'll just go rerun the file again. So we just check whether the AI is remembering the old conversation. Hey KG, what was the last question I have asked you? I think there's a slight duplication of your message, Cardis. The last question you asked me is related to Arduino. Yeah, 
yes we just have this beautiful conversation because it is taking into account of our previous conversations and replaying accordingly so the next thing i'll let you know like we are gonna create a simple ui with some small buttons and that will be good right so i'll just show you how to do that so yeah we just done that but it is a long form code which actually takes up to 432 lines yep we just had two buttons which is start listening and stop listening the others are like the same we have the main window here which is a q main window inheritance and we just said the title and we said geometry we have the glow fi glow on m and the energy bar which actually measures the input energy that your microphone is listening to audio or not so just see what this code does yeah we just have this beautiful ui here when i click start listening it actually listens to my audio and the energy meter is actually increasing and decreasing it looks like there was a bit of a cut off in the conversation it seems like you were saying my audio and kd your voice just become like idiot why are you speaking in that gruff voice i cannot engage in conversation that involves derogatory language yeah guys you can see um when i just turned off the mic and i just speak aloud the meter actually goes up and down but still the ai is not responding oh so, yeah guys i just want to tell you that i'll give all these four pages of python codes on my github page but still i cannot give my whole ai project which is actually a thousand lines of code <laughs> open source guys because um yeah it almost took me a month to complete this project and i request you to just join on my patreon and get these files because it will motivate me to do more videos right so please don't get mad on me try to get your own on my patreon yeah guys i hope this video was clear and yeah i'll meet you on my next video thank you so much for watching bye 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 bye, bye.